Good morning, everybody. Another day, another set of drill results from Southern Cross, and here we go again. Uh, two holes this time, the deepest east-west holes into Golden Dyke, and uh, they've delivered again in spades. Uh, hole 151 was the highlight hole. We also reported 147. So uh, as you remember, the, the mineralization is like a ladder, so the sides of the ladder or the rungs of the, the rails of the ladder are, are like this, and that's what hosts all the gold, but in plan view. And then across that, the rungs of the ladder um, are the veins, and we've got over 70 veins uh, across all of these different bodies that we're now finding. Uh, the rungs of the ladder are what we want to drill. So we drill perpendicular to the rungs of the ladder like that. And these two holes did that. Actually, they did that. So they they uh, tested somewhat of the same uh, level or RL in the system. And they were the deepest holes into the system. And, and both holes hit. They were about 30 metres apart at their furthest part. So they showed the rungs continue. Um, and they showed that in, in, a, in, a, in a strike sense or along the rungs. Uh, but they also showed that those rungs continue. They start at the surface and they uh, they go right down to 1.1 kilometres. These ones we've traced down to uh, uh, 90 to 120 metres below the last drill hole. So a, a great result, uh, three 50 gram metre hits with a highlight of 5.4 metres at 29.6 grams gold in, in one of those rungs. So both holes were drilled underneath the old workings, which are 180 metres at Golden Dyke. So they were between 130 and 445 metres below that 180 metres. So what's that? That's something like uh, 600 odd metres down at their deepest point. Uh, we have also the sides of the, the ladder, the rails of the ladder, uh, the dyke breccia host. And, and we found a parallel one of those just beside uh, the main one that we haven't really seen before. So this looks like a, a development that's very special and unique for Golden Dyke. Uh, we drilled 3.2 metres at 18 grams gold in one of the rungs in, in this uh, parallel zone, if you like. So it was further out than we'd previously seen. So that uh, points to some intriguing opportunity to make sure that we always drill past the zone and uh, and and look for these parallel zones as well. But just more upside and, and what a wonderful system this is. So we're only talking a little distance away from the main zone here with the parallel zone that we've drilled in these drill holes. But at the bigger scale, over 12 kilometres, we know we have parallel zones that repeat every two to 300 metres. And, and they were mined like that. So we've got the main zone, and then there was historically out uh, 10 kilometres away, there was a parallel zone called the aftermath zone that was, that was mined in the day that was parallel to the main zone. And we know we're picking up parallel zones because we map them, sample them. We've got soil anomalies and IP anomalies. So there's a huge amount of upside, not only in extending the strike, but looking for these parallel zones at different scales. So it's a it's uh, becoming a much more important angle to this project as we continue to discover more and more. So it's been a very active start to 2025 for Southern Cross. We've announced the doubling of the exploration target to 2.2 uh, to 3.2 million ounces at 8.5 to 10.6 grams per tonne equivalent with all the caveats around that um, drill constraint, but not close enough drilling to, to put it all into a resource. We've started the permitting for a, a decline. So that's a, a wonderful next step. So we can bring the drilling uh, with much less impact forward by uh, three times as fast. We've joined the All Ordinaries Index, the top 500 companies on the ASX. Uh, that's led to a lot more eyes and a lot more liquidity as uh, as uh, index funds, et cetera, uh, have to buy into the stock. And these results, of course, are on, part of the ongoing nature of what, uh, what we're doing. We've got six rigs at site. We've got... Uh, 
15 drill holes in the laboratory, six rigs, six drill holes being drilled. We're building and demonstrating the scale of this system. One rig is now looking out along the path. We're bringing more rigs in, another two more rigs over the next few weeks to start to infill the system and convert that exploration target at a faster rate to the resource that we're running internally. Uh, we've got more MET work coming to the table, a lot more de-risking around the env environmental side of things around all that permitting for the decline. Um, so bigger, looking at uh, this district scale system, focusing on volume and focusing on grade. So this discovery has been built when we didn't have a gold market and 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 now is its time. This is one of the few, if only rare multi-million ounce, uh, high grade, eight to 10 gram deposits singularly owned by a company. Uh, uh, many of our peers who had deposits of similar nature globally have been taken out as the, the mining industry uh, consumes itself essentially with these record gold prices. Uh, these assets are very, very rare. In a tier one jurisdiction, multi-million ounce potential at that grade of around eight to 10 grams, they create very, very high margin deposits and they're simply not out there. So that's what makes Sunday Creek special and why Southern Cross is in ex such an exciting moment of its career, if you like, in terms of it, uh, it's growing up and this project's growing into this wonderful market. Mm -hmm.